and good morning to all of you. As you saw, I had to go down there and pick up trash um, because the um, the recycle people, they came earlier this morning um, and they took everyone else's trash except ours. And it turns out that they don't accept plastic bags um, like the ones you would get from a grocery store. I don't know why. Um, I, I'd assume it's the same plastic. It's just thin. Um, so it's kind of strange. Uh, we had like two plastic bags in there. And they decided instead of just removing that, um, they decided to take the, or just leave the entire trash can. Um, I mean, they were both on top, so I don't know why they didn't just um, take it out. But um, they accepted everything else. There was a paper bag in there. They would have accepted that because it was paper. There was paper. There was um, aluminum cans. Um, just, just all of it. And they would have taken it all. Except for those, those plastic bags. I didn't know this recycling stuff came with a rule book of what plastics to put in there, but um, they didn't tell us about it, um, so that's kind of annoying. We'll have to uh, we have to wait another two weeks to take the re recycling down, um, so hopefully it's not going to be massively overf overflowing by then. Now I think the reason why it fell over was because um, when they moved it, they pulled it closer to the road, and we have that little there's like a little hill. Um, on that patch of dirt right there next to the um, driveway and it's kind of at a 20 degree angle I guess you would say towards the road and at that 20 degree angle it seems like it was just enough to be um, in the road enough of a way to um, get in the way of a car probably a truck because because our other one has been hit by a truck just because they leave it so close to the road um, so they left it close to the road truck came by hit it um, and it just flew into the um, <laughs> the ditch right there. I'll have to look into it, but I'm not too sure why they wouldn't accept um, plastic bags. I mean, they're, the, they're I'm pretty sure they're the same plastic, just thinner. Um, I don't I'm not sure why that would interrupt anything. Um, it's all gonna melt down anyways, so it's gonna all meld because it's the same plastic. So I don't know. Um, I'll have to look into it. I just looked it up. Apparently, um, it requires like a whole different collection, of, uh, a processing collection, um, in order to, like a whole different machine, um, a whole different process of uh, like getting to the machine. It's also, it's very different for like a plastic bag. I didn't even know that. So it's getting pretty late. I'm gonna have to call it here. So thank you all so much for watching this video today. Um, the the whole issue with the re the, the recycling bin, um, I I still think it was knocked over by a truck because of the angle it was at um, on the side of the road. It was very it was pretty close this morning, um, and I kind of thought to myself if uh, whether or not I should get out and just pull it back a little bit, um, but I I figured that it would be fine because I didn't think that we we're gonna have road work as you saw earlier today. Um, I think that also caused um, some of the issue because um, either one of their trucks may have bumped it or a truck trying to get past to them um, and gave them more room on the road um, maybe hit the hit the can. I'm not sure, but I just know that it was in the ditch um, on the side of the road uh, a couple feet from where it was sitting. Um, so that's all fixed now though. Um, we've got to take it down two weeks from now. Um, that way they can actually take the recycling out of it. Um, I put the rest of the recycling stuff in a plastic bag um, that I will empty once they're actually, when, the, when they come next uh, two weeks. But anyways, good night to all of you, and see all of you in the morning tomorrow. So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I